What's going on guys? It's Gathalion, and we're back here to talk about Borderlands, the pre-sequel. In this video, we're gonna talk about the loot system, and since Borderlands, the pre-sequel, is pretty much built upon uh, Borderlands 2, graphically and system-wise, we're gonna be seeing a very similar loot system to that which we saw in Borderlands 2. Even though it is sort of a 1.5, they say it is more of a 2.5 engine-wise. I mean, we're gonna uh, see very familiar gameplay to Borderlands 2, but it's gonna have a bit of upgrades and tweaks in here and there. But the loot system does seem to uh, mirror that of Borderlands 2 in a lot of areas. Um, outside of a couple things, they did add laser guns and freeze weapons to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Uh, freeze weapons look really interesting. Uh, obviously, you can freeze enemies and then they shatter, and the pieces of ice just go off into the distance, and it's a pretty cool effect. Um, but the one thing I really wanted to touch on in this video is the loot system. It seems to be pulling guns that are from Borderlands 2. And I mean the just sort of like standard, not the uniques. I didn't see any uniques from Borderlands 2 in here, but just the standard weaponry. Um, I did see Bandit. Bandit's back, unfortunately. I don't really care for Bandit, but um, it does seem like it pulls the exact same loot pool, uh, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, I saw in here in a chest, there was like a, a torpedo, a Torg weapon. Um, there there was a few weaponry that just it looked identical to Borderlands 2's weapons, and I wonder if that was just to uh, save time and production cost. Um, hopefully we see um, more outside of uh, these standard weapons. Though I guess it's not really that big of a deal, because uh, like how, how unique can you get with this standard weaponry if you're building on pretty much uh, the same loot system and engine that the previous game used. As long as we see plenty of uniques and as long as there are plenty of choices for the freeze rays and laser guns, then I'm gonna be just fine with it. I wanna play with fucking laser guns, man. I, I have no issues with this game essentially being what is called a super DLC to Borderlands 2. Um, though we're gonna hold our reservations to see what the price tag is like, but I mean honestly I would fucking pay $60 to play with lasers and, and ice bullets and shit, but um, I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm pretty excited. How do you guys feel about them pretty much building on top of the current loot system? Because it looks it like, looks like uh, they just took the current loot system and then just built on top of it. Uh, how many uniques do you need to be able to see for this to be uh, legit? Um, uh, but does does it upset you that we'll see the normal kind of like um, torpedoes and or are you excited to be able to get your god tier Ravagers back? I don't know. I'm it's gonna be very familiar territory to Borderlands 2 players sound off in the comments below Don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I will see you guys back here for the Borderlands pre-sequel